Boo. Hi. How are you? I'm Pam. I'm from Villanova. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> I'm University of the Arts. <laughs> yes. Are you the only one? From you arts, yeah. Okay. What other schools do you guys have? Um, Moore is coming and then Temple, somebody from Tyler. Nice. Very cool. Yes. And I think it's just the three of us. Okay. Yeah. Um, art and design schools of Philadelphia. That is what your art I love art schools. That's why I wanted to facilitate this. I wanted to. Help with it. <laughs> I was too chicken to apply to Temple Tyler when I was in high school. Me too, but I didn't. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. Um. So I'm the facilitator. I'm from. I'm Pam. I'm from Villanova. And um. So. Once, once people are joining us, we have the, the webinar live so everyone can come in. So there might be actually some students in right now, but I will um, put up a screen for PACAC. I'll introduce everyone. I'll say Art and Design Schools of Philadelphia, and then I'll pass it over to you. And you have a 45 minute hard stop. So if I see it getting down like closer, like I'll pop back in and then um, be there to just wrap things up. Uh, either way, if you end a little bit earlier, I'll just keep paying attention and I'll come on and, and wrap things up that way too. So, um, yeah. Any questions about webinar? Are you guys all familiar with it? Okay. Familiar. Um, does anyone have a preference on who kind of like presents or talks first or anything like that? We can go in whatever order you want. <laughs> to share this. Chloe, do you have a preference? I'm happy to go first if no one wants to go first. Um, but if someone wants to do that, you're more than welcome to. I don't really have a preference either, but if you want to go first, um, I came in last, so I'm happy to <laughs> come in or present last, or I can, you know, do whatever. I'm happy to accommodate. That's fine. I'll go second. We're good. Okay. Yeah. Did okay. both of you do the New Jersey one as well? I did. I did not. Um, I did not either. <laughs> yeah. It ended a little early though, my colleague said, so. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, so I will, I'll start off and then we'll go to Sarah and you're at UArts. Yep. Cool. Also a Temple alum though, just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what program did you study? Um, I have my BFA in dance at Temple. Nice. Wow, that's cool. Two, two students in with us already, it looks like. Great. Five minutes until three. Are you both sharing a few slides? I am, yeah. Okay. Yeah, me too. Hello guests, welcome. We're gonna get started in just about five minutes. Thank you for joining us.
All right, we have just about two minutes before three o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and welcome everyone to the session. My name is Pam. I'm at Villanova University, and I am the facilitator for the event. So just to let you know how this is going to work, we'll have 45 minutes um, with our, our guest panelists. If you have questions, you are more than welcome to type them into the Q&A section that you can see. Um, that way, if you have questions throughout the session, they'll get to your questions at the end for a Q&A session. Please note that when you enter, your camera and your microphone are off. That's how our webinar is signed up. And then please make sure you are going to packac.org slash virtual if you're interested in signing up for any more events. We have so many different things that you can explore to learn about colleges within Pennsylvania. So please make sure you take advantage of everything that we have to offer. So with that being said, I'm gonna pass it over for our art and design schools in Philadelphia session. Hi everyone, thank you for bearing with me as I got our presentation up and running. Um, my name is Lauren O'Neill, I'm the Director of Admissions at the Tyler School of Art and Architecture. I'm going to hopefully quickly, but not too fast, to go through these slides and share a little bit with you just about Tyler and what we offer for academic programs, our application requirements, and a little bit about scholarships before I hand it, it, it over to Sarah at UArts. So to get started, Tyler is part of Temple University and Temple is a large, vibrant urban research institution located in North Philadelphia with hundreds of different academic programs. Um, Temple offers our students a wide access to resources that a lot of smaller institutions don't have without sacrificing the kind of the intimate community nature of an art school. Um, let's see, here we go. So to give you an example um, of some of those resources, students can join over 500 different clubs and student organizations. This is a little aerial view of our campus. Um, you can see the Tyler building up sort of in the center there. Um, if you're interested in things outside of the arts at Tyler, like any of the programs at Fox, we offer dual degree programs with several other colleges within the Temple University system. We're also really accessible to public transportation and are a very commuter friendly campus for those of you that may want to not live on campus um, while you're studying. But if you do, we do have specific living learning communities for our students in art, design, architecture, sustainability programs. To talk a little bit more specifically about Tyler, we prepare students to enter a broad range of careers and majors. So as you start your studies at Tyler, you're going to do a foundation program that's going to prepare you for any of the majors we offer from architecture and environmental design to studio art or something like art therapy. You're gonna have foundation skills and conceptual thinking, technical areas, as well as the history of art and design. As I mentioned, we offer a broad range of majors. Architecture and environmental design is one of our departments. And within that, you can choose to major in architecture, which has three tracks. So architectural design, facilities management, or historic preservation. We also offer programs in community de development, horticulture, and landscape architecture. I do like to note on these ones that horticulture and landscape architecture have the opportunity to study most of their major requirements at our Ambler campus, which is about a half hour from our main campus in North Philadelphia. And here you have access to greenhouses, 180 acre arboretum, hydroponics labs. So anything that is really hands on um, in those fields, you'll be able to take advantage of up at that campus. We also offer programs in art education and community arts practices, which art therapy is also a part of this division. Students can major in art history and visual studies. Visual studies is a really great program for students that are interested in visual art, but you may have something else outside of the arts that you wanna give equal attention to. So political science or creative writing, um, it's not a BFA degree. So you have more room to kind of customize what your additional studies are at Temple with this major. If you are looking for that really intensive studio-based program, we offer a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in ceramics, fibers, and material studies, glass, metals, jewelry, and CAD CAM, which is a very long name for one major, um, painting, printmaking, photography, and sculpture. 
graphic and interactive design program shares the same foundation year with our BFA students, but it has one additional kind of step. Um, so students prepare a portfolio specifically for graphic design through their foundation program and then submit that to the department before officially starting in that program their junior year. So for our application requirements, um, any student applying to Tyler will begin with filling out the common application for Temple University. Really important to note. Um, one tip we tell everyone is that Temple does require self-reporting high school transcripts through our TU portal. So it's just an extra little step you have to do. We do not require test scores. Um, so if you have not taken a test or you feel like test scores just aren't the best representation of your skills, you do not need to submit them and they will not be used in calculating your merit scholarship offer from Temple this fall. Some programs um, require a portfolio. So if you were applying to our art therapy, our education, any of our BFA programs or visual studies, we do ask that you submit 10 to 20 complete works of art in any material. Ideally, one to three should be from direct observation, but that's really our only criteria. You'll submit officially in slide room, but we would love to connect with you to talk about your work prior to submitting um, for a portfolio review if you would like to meet with us. And then for scholarships. So we offer Temple Tyler Portfolio Merit Scholarships, and we'll use the first 10 pieces of your portfolio to automatically review when we're looking at scholarship um, criteria. If you're applying to our architecture program, we do have an ACE mentor scholarship if you've been part of that mentorship program in high school. Um, and then landscape architecture and horticulture students have program specific scholarships that they'll automatically be reviewed for as well. I do want to note that these are all in addition to Temple University's merit scholarship. So you'll get that award um, when you get your decision. And then following that, we will um, award you any additional scholarship you may qualify for, specifically from Tyler. And then if you'd love to connect with us outside of this session, um, we have virtual portfolio reviews and tours Monday through Friday through our website. We have some specific topic-based webinars um, on portfolio tips, um, our 10 tips for applying through admissions, inside architecture and environmental design. There's a whole different range of them. Um, we're also available at National Portfolio Days, which are just about every Saturday or Sunday throughout the fall. Um, and then we have a virtual open house coming up in November on the 14th. So we would love to connect with you any way that works best. And with that, that is Tyler. Once again, my name is Lauren. Um, my email address is on the bottom of this slide. And if you have any questions, write them in the chat, happy to answer. And I will now pass it off to Sarah. Thank you. I am going to pull up my slides as well. Okay, so uh, my name is Sarah Serator. I am an undergraduate admissions counselor here at the University of the Arts in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, this is my face as well as my contact information. Um, so feel free to write that email address down if you would like. If you have any questions following this presentation, I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, so if you want to take a screenshot or write that down, I'm definitely your person to contact. For those of you who may not be Familiar with you arts, we are an arts focused university. We do have 30 different majors, 29 minors and 13 grad programs. Um, our programs span across the visual and performing arts as well as some liberal arts. Um, we have dance, music, theater, creative writing. We have animation, illustration, graphic design. We have musical theater and really the list goes on and on as you can see here. Um, we also offer a variety of different minors and two uh, programs I like to point out down here are our art education and music education minors. Um, they are also five year programs. So if you are interested in art or music education, you complete that minor in addition to your um, degree or undergraduate degree in four years and then you come back a fifth year to finish out your uh, student teaching as well as your practicum and you end with your master's of arts in teaching, your MAT degree. Um, so I do like to point those out as well. If there is a program that you are 
more specifically interested in, or maybe you're trying to decide between two programs, I, I highly recommend going to uarts.edu slash programs. You can find our curriculum, our course catalog, faculty and alumni spotlight, as well as current student work. It's a great way to kind of take a deep dive into each one of our programs. I do also like to just touch on some of our alumni. We do have alumni all over the world making an impact. Some are fine artists showing their works in museums. Others are performers that are touring internationally. Um, and many of them work for companies like these, as you can see on this list. I do like to point out Urban Outfitters. It is located and headquartered in the Navy Yard in Philadelphia. Um, and we do have a lot of students that go on to work there or complete internships there as well. If you want to check out some specific alumni stories, uh, we do have them at uarts.edu slash alum. So at UArts, when your passion is in the arts, we really do believe that you can kind of be whatever you want to be and you should be. We are a small school. We are only about 1,800 students, which does allow us to have an eight to one student to faculty ratio. Our faculty are all working professionals in the field as well, and they are there to really support your creativity. We feel that when somebody sticks you in a box, that's really going to stifle your creativity. We allow you to uh, cross register, so study across different disciplines and collaborate with other artists that you are. Being that we are so small, we are a tight knit family in a big city. Um, we might have dancers that come in that want to paint. We might have guitarists that, that want to take glass blowing classes or a graphic designer that wants to take a dance class for non-majors. Those students are more than welcome here. You don't have to be X, Y, or Z. You can be all of those and more at UArts. We do offer professional experiences like internships. All of our visual artists are required to complete an internship in order to graduate. Um, our performing artists are not required. However, if you do want to complete one, you are encouraged to and our career services office can help you. We also have study away opportunities to gain real world experience. What's more popular on the UArts campus are short travel courses and faculty led trips that might happen over the summer or during winter break. Um, we go to Portugal, Italy, and Japan. Um, we also have a six week program in LA for our screenwriting students as well. You're in here this session because it's all about Philadelphia and UArts is located right in the heart of it. So we are center city Philadelphia right on the Avenue of the Arts. If you're at all familiar with Broad Street or uh, the Merriam Theater or the Kimmel Center or the Academy of Music, they are all located right there on our campus. Tons of clubs and organizations and ways for you to get involved on our campus as well as partnerships within the city. So you can give back to the community. You can join the mural arts program as well, but we are definitely active in Center City. We also have apartment style living. So you're getting that unique Center City apartment um, kind of experience. Of course, we have dining halls as well, but Philadelphia is a huge foodie city. Um, so we are a short walk to Chinatown as well as Reading Terminal Market. You're never going to go hungry in Center City. Um, if you do want to check us out, feel free to take our virtual tour. We are closed at the moment, our campus, but we are have a virtual tour up at uarts.edu slash visit. Just to kind of round things out with our application materials, um, two things to note for you arts is that we are not on the common app. You do have to apply directly through our website. We do also ask for a 250 word writing sample as well as your high school transcripts. Then depending on your program, you'll either complete a portfolio audition or an interview. For our portfolios, we ask for 15 to 20 pieces of original artwork in at least two different mediums. And right now, all of our auditions are being held as virtual remote audition days. Um, and all of those details are right on our website as well. We are also test optional and we have always been test optional. Last little thing I like to put out there is to be sure to check us out on Instagram at the at University of the Arts. We do have a hashtag, it's hashtag you artist, which is a celebration of the boundless creativity of our UArts community. So we have students, faculty, staff, and alumni that all share their work via Instagram. Um, we are all artists and we are, are all there to support one another. So it's not just your faculty, but every resource on campus is there to support you. So that wraps up my presentation and I'm going to now hand it on over to Chloe from Moore. 
Thanks, everyone. Let me just pull up my slides. All right, so I'm Chloe Sun. Um, I am the undergraduate admissions counselor who handles students from Pennsylvania at Moore College of Art and Design. Um, this is my contact information below. Um, if you have any questions after the presentation, feel free to shoot me an email or a text. I'd be happy to help you out. Um, Moore is also, like Tyler at UArts, located in Philadelphia. Um, we're along the Benjamin Franklin Parkway, so we're actually sandwiched in between um, the Franklin Institute and the Academy of Natural Sciences. Just a quick walk. Um, down the block from the Barnes Foundation and the Rodin Museum and the um, Philadelphia Museum of Art, a really nice kind of creative center of the city. Um, we have nine majors here at Moore. All of our majors are available as a minor, um, with the exception of art education and film. Um, and we also have minors in business, creative writing, textile design, and art history. Um, about a third of our students at Moore do double major or they'll major in one thing and minor in the other. So if you're kind of coming into art school and you're not quite sure which path you want to take, you're really torn between two majors, it's really easy to kind of buddy up two artistic disciplines here at Moore and make some really um, cool stuff. Um, first year students at Moore take a foundation year together. Um, foundation year is really great because if you come in and you know exactly what you want to do, it kind of helps build up upon those skills that you're already comfortable with while also boosting up some skills that maybe you're less comfortable with. And if you come in and you know have no idea what you want to do, you just know that you want to be at art school, um, it's great because it's a good testing ground um, and you are exposed to a wide variety of skills and um, mediums. And then you kind of dive into your intended field of study in your second, third, and fourth year. So you don't have to declare until the end of foundation year. We have about 400 students at Moore, so we're nice and small, definitely feels very family-like. Um, and we have an eight to one student to professor ratio in the classroom. So you're getting a lot of individual attention and feedback. Um, all of our professors are obviously working artists in their fields. Um, so it's really great to kind of form those one-on-one -on -one relationships. Um, for your time at Moore and beyond. Um, we guarantee every student a paid internship. Our students take that internship program in the summer between their third and fourth year. Um, and we have additional fellowships available that students can apply for should they want to take their internship to the West Coast or abroad and they need additional funding. But everyone will get that $1,000 stipend from us. Our career center is really instrumental about kind of helping students buddy up um, with sites that they may want to work with, whether it's working as a studio assistant for an independent artist or working for a firm or a nonprofit or culture institution. Um, they're very well connected and they work with students on a one-on-one -on -one basis in that regard. Um, our students also get access to that career center for life. So even if you're you know, an alumni and it's four years after graduation and you need someone to help you know, tweak your grant proposal or something like that, um, they're here to help and they'll probably still remember you because we're so small and tight knit. Um, what we lack in sports teams in Greek life, we definitely make up for in clubs at more. These are just a small kind of sampling of some of the clubs we saw this previous year. Um, but we also have um, student government at more. We have a student advocacy group. We have a student run gallery. Um, we have two honors program tracks. So there's lots of ways to kind of get involved on campus um, and kind of boost some of those leadership skills. Some application requirement things. Um, we require three things as part of the application process. Um, first is the application itself. We're on Common App or you can apply through our website. We'll also require the transcripts which come from your high school. And then a portfolio of eight to 12 pieces of your best work in any medium or style. Um, we are have and always been SAT or ACT optional. I know this year is definitely kind of funky with everything. So if you haven't had a chance to take the SATs or ACTs, fear not, you can absolutely leave those out of your application. Um, personal essays, letters of recommendation and resumes are all optional as well. However, as a counselor, I do like to receive those because it helps me get to know you a bit better as a student, but they are completely optional. Um, and 100% of our students will receive some form of scholarship or merit-based grant from the school. Um, those scholarships are awarded to you at the time of your acceptance. So you don't have to do anything extra to apply for them. You kind of are putting in all the hard work now as a high school student. Um, so that's a little um, incentive from us as well. And then there's quite a few ways to submit your um, artwork. You can connect one-on-one -on -one with um, 
our counselors here at Moore, I would be your counselors. I'm the counselor who works with all the students from Pennsylvania. Um, so if you wanna shoot me an email or a text, we can set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting via Zoom. We'll also be at all the remaining national portfolio days um, this year. They're all virtual this year and they're completely free events. So I would just say, um, definitely check them out at nationalportfolioday.org. Um, it's a great way to kind of get your work out there and get feedback from a lot of different schools. And then we have a whole host of virtual events, um, including virtual major days where you can connect with our faculty, virtual information sessions, and our portfolio boot camps, which are um, kind of a portfolio prep process. Um, we also recently resumed um, on-campus tours on a um, reservation only one-on-one um, -on -one basis. So you can check that out on our website if you're interested in safely touring campus. Um, but that's kind of, about it from me, um, I think we'd love to answer some of your questions um, that you might have if you want to kind of drop any of those into the Q&A. Um, while we're waiting, um, I think for a couple to roll in, um, Lauren and Sarah, what would you say your favorite thing about Philadelphia is? I'll go first. Um, my favorite thing about Philadelphia is Definitely uh, the food scene and shows. So I am all about like a good dinner and a show. And I feel like Philly definitely provides those things for you. So I'm always like looking for new and different restaurants and pretty much like any kind of food, like you can find it in Philly. So that's what I really, really like. Um, for me, so I'm relatively new to Philadelphia. Um, so I've enjoyed exploring. Um, but one of the things I've really been enjoying is just how many outdoor spaces there are. Um, and Wissahickon has just been such a nice place to visit um, right now to just get some fresh air, not be near a ton of people, but know that I'm still in the city um, is really nice. I agree with both of those sentiments. Um, and I, I think what I like about Philly is it's a very manageable city. It's mid-sized. So you get all the perks of being in a large city, but it also has that community vibe of a smaller town. So it's really the best of both worlds. Um, it does look like we have a question. Um, someone is asking if there is a GPA requirement when applying. Um, I can speak um, for more and say that um, we don't have a GPA requirement. We're looking for about a 3.0, um, but we're definitely take your portfolio into account as well. And if you submit your SAT scores, so we're really looking at you holistically, um, but that's um, our perspective. How about um, you folks? Yeah. At UArts, we, we do not have a minimum GPA, um, but our average GPA is about a 3.0 as well. Um, we will definitely take that holistic approach look. Um, if your test scores are good and you wanna send them to us, that will definitely help you. They won't ever hurt you, um, but we, we take your portfolio or audition um, into consideration as well. So we're kind of like 50% grades, 50% your creative requirement. Just kind of look at that. So Temple and Tyler are slightly different um, because we are part of the larger Temple University system. You have to academically be accepted to Temple um, before you can officially be accepted to Tyler. Um, so oftentimes as we're talking about your portfolio, you might hear one of our admissions counselors say your portfolio would absolutely be accepted and that's great, but you still have to finish the process with Temple. Um, our GPA average for this last year was about a 3.4. We don't have a minimum, but I would say roughly around three, a 3.0 GPA um, is where we start to really look at other parts that could show us academic success. Um, so we'll be looking more closely at the courses you've been taking, if there's any trends in one direction or another. Um, and like Sarah said, while test scores aren't required this year, if you do have test scores and they could be another demonstration of how you succeed, um, then I would definitely send them along because they would never hurt. Awesome. Um, we do have another question. Um, do any of the colleges have a modeling program too? Um, we do not at more, although we do have a fashion photography um, track in our photo program, um, unless you're kind of talking about like 3D rendering modeling for animation, in which case we do as part of our animation and game arts program. Um, how about you guys? 
Yeah, we are kind. Of, we are that same answer <laughs> um, for the most part. We we don't have um, a modeling if if that if you mean like photography modeling sort of thing um, at UArts. Same at Tyler. Um, we don't do any sort of modeling majors um, unless you are like Chloe said interested in three D modeling or. Um, any kind of CAD CAM type of work or laser printing, things like that. Um, we do both in architecture and in the fine arts side have a lot of different programs for 3D rendering. And then it doesn't look like we have any other questions in the queue now. Um, what would um, both of you say is your best piece of portfolio advice for students who are applying while well, we're kind of waiting for any more to float in? Um, one, so at UArts, we, we don't have any very strict um, requirements other than the number of pieces, like it's 15 to 20 and um, in at least two different mediums. And like, we definitely want to see all of those foundation skills in your work, but also include personal work. Um, that would be like one of my, my biggest uh, things. I feel like a lot of times students include what all of their assignments were in school. And those are all very important. And we like to see those, but we also want to see you, right? Your, we got to see your personality. Um, so don't be afraid to put in that personal work, those things that maybe you're experimenting and you're not so sure about, or maybe something that you've kind of self-taught. Um, in, include that work in there too, because we want to see your uniqueness as well. I would agree with that. I think the other thing, um, like Sarah was saying, the range of the number that you can submit, I think for us 10 to 20 is a pretty large range. Um, and I always like to make sure students know it's not quantity over quality. So if you have a ton of work and you don't feel really strongly about a piece or you don't think it's the best or you don't wanna show it, you don't have to show it to us. Um, you can kind of curate your work and just present the 10 pieces that you feel are the strongest. We don't look at that any differently than if you submit 20 pieces. Awesome. Um, and I would say that um, I would echo that, like, I think your personal narrative voice as an artist is super important and you should definitely let that shine in your portfolio. I'm also always interested to hear about the student's artistic process. Um, what inspired you to make the piece? What was the process like? Did anything kind of not go as planned? Um, all that stuff is really great to talk about. Um, the more you can kind of speak to that kind of stuff, the more, um, you know, it shows you would shine in, uh, you know, an art school setting or a critique. So um, definitely don't be afraid to talk about your artistic process. We do have a few questions that kind of floated in. Um, Just what... Chloe, to add one more thing to that, yeah. talking about the artistic process. Um, I know that Lauren mentioned that Tyler also uses slide room um, and, and I'm sure you guys do as well. So even if you can't like schedule that one-on-one -on -one review, use the description box yes. in the room like we are having a conversation in person. That is like key. So tell us about the process and add or the dimensions. Like maybe it's a larger scale work and we kind of can't really tell on the computer all the time. Sometimes we can, but sometimes we can't. So I just wanted to throw that out there that you made me think of that. Um, use the description box like we're having a dialogue. That's a great point, Sarah. Um, I think a lot of times students um, maybe think that like their work just speaks for themselves and they don't fill that description out, but the more you can kind of flesh that out um, and write like the dimensions of your piece, the materials that you used, anything that you would include, that's always great and really helps your review. Um, someone asked, um, what are the tuitions per year for each college? Um, at more for about 40,000 a year, no student pays that price because we do give every student um, who's accepted a merit-based scholarship or grant. Um, how about um, you guys at New Arts and Tyler? We, our tuition is about $46,000 a year. Um, but again, none of our students are paying that ticket price either. Um, we, 80% of our students qualify for some sort of aid. Um, everyone that applies is eligible for a merit-based scholarship. Uh, you don't have to submit any additional uh, information for that merit-based scholarship. Um, and then we do have 
over a million dollars in work study opportunities as well for our students on campus. Um, so there is a lot of financial assistance that you can get. Um, and then any outside scholarships that you might apply for, whether that be through a community organization, through a church, through your high school. Um, and if you're awarded that, we'll actually take that in addition to anything we've awarded you. Um, so just kind of stack all of those. So our tuition price is a little scary, but <laughs> again, nobody is paying that full price. So Tyler is a little bit different. We are a public institution, so we have a variety of dif different tuition rates, um, depending on if you're in state, out of state, also depending on what major you're looking to pursue. So even within Tyler, there's some different tuition rates. Um, depending on if you're architecture and environmental design or if you're a Bachelor of Fine Arts student. So I'll take Bachelor of Fine Arts, for example. Um, so average tuition for one year for an in-state student is about $24,000. Um, that doesn't take into consideration if you want to live on campus, um, which will put you just under $40,000 to live on campus as well. Um, you, if you're out of state, a different tuition price point. So there's so many different things I could run through in specifics um, at Temple. I really encourage you to use our tuition calculator. It's pretty easy to use, but if you have questions, you can always reach out to us. Um, and like Sarah and Chloe said, um, we have a variety. We do award financial aid. So as long as you complete that FAFSA, which you can do right now, it opened October 1st, do that before you think about it too much while you're doing your applications. Um, we'll give you a financial aid package. So loans, grants, the whole package, work study, you'll be reviewed for Temple Merit Scholarship. And then additionally, Tyler has assistance as well um, that you would be considered for through your portfolio. Awesome. Um, we have another question. What are the chances of getting in if we have a good GPA and portfolio, but haven't done much in the way of clubs, volunteer work, or school activities? Um, I would say um, there's still a chance you could get in. Um, it just kind of, you know, it depends. Everyone's a little bit different. Some students take really rigorous, um, like academic course loads and they just, they can't fit in clubs or after school activities into their schedules. Um, so we're definitely gonna look at your whole application. Um, you're welcome to include, you know, a supplemental essay if that's something that you're worried about that you're lacking kind of extracurricular activities. Um, but that's definitely not a deal breaker for us. We understand that every student's kind of high school workload is very different. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, Lauren. Oh, you're good. Go for it. <laughs> Um, yeah, we are similar. It's definitely not a deal breaker for us. Um, we do have that 250 word writing sample. Um, and that the last prompt for our writing sample is more of a personal statement. So if that is something that you are like concerned about and you want to tell us like everything that you done or or whatnot or even if you're like worried about your grades like we encourage you to use that like personal statement that writing sample as a chance to kind of like talk a little bit about yourself and maybe give us a better idea of your high school experience etc but it's not something that that is going to to be a deal breaker at UArts. Same. I mean, it's great to see what you're interested in and how you've been involved in your community or with other students with similar interests. Um, but at Tyler and Temple, um, we do really take into consideration that a lot of our students have after school jobs and that's just as important too. So if you're doing anything outside of school, we, we would love to know about it. We've also talked a lot recently about just how hard it must be for all of you to engage in these things when you're learning remotely or in hybrid and we shouldn't be close to each other. Um, so we know that just having access to those things right now is tough. Um, so it, it's in no way going to prevent you from being admitted if you have a good portfolio and a good academic record. Awesome. Um, we got a question that we touched on a little bit, but um, someone asked if we take financial aid. Um, at more, we definitely do. Um, as Lauren mentioned earlier, FAFSA applications are open. They opened October 1st. Um, so definitely, um, I know the FAFSA process can be one of the least enjoyable parts of applying to college because it takes a lot of tax information um, and it can sometimes be confusing, but if you kind of knock that out early um, and you put the schools that you're interested in on your FAFSA and you get accepted to those schools, they'll be able to award you 
um, your financial aid award letter sooner. And that can give you a more kind of accurate breakdown of the costs. It'll show you if you qualify for like a Pell Grant or a FIA Grant. Um, so it's definitely worth kind of filing that FAFSA now, but absolutely we do um, take financial aid or accept FAFSA applications. How about you folks? Yes. We do. <laughs> yes. Yep. Everything you said. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, we also got a question and we touched on this a little bit, but maybe we could do it a little more thoroughly. What kind of scholarships can um, students apply for? Um, so at Moore, um, we give every student a merit-based scholarship at the time of their acceptance. So you don't actually have to do anything extra to apply for these scholarships, put in all the hard work now. Um, we do have additional scholarships and fellowships available for upperclassmen too. So you can get more aid as you become an upperclassman. Um, and we um, also take outside scholarships. So if you you know, apply to any through like a community organization or your high school awards you won, um, that would stack on top of the merit scholarship that we offer you. Um, but you don't have to do anything extra to apply for our merit scholarships. We do all that kind of hard work for you. How about you guys? Uh, so same when you're when you're complete and reviewed for Temple, you'll automatically be considered for any Temple based academic merit scholarship and you'll get that when you receive your admissions decision. Um, there are additional scholarships available through Tyler specifically. One of them is our portfolio merit scholarship. If you submit a portfolio, if it's required for your major, there's nothing additional you have to do. We'll use the first 10 pieces in your portfolio. But if you're applying to a program that doesn't require a portfolio, like architecture, for example, or art history, you're still encouraged to submit a portfolio. So that would be an additional step, but we want to make sure you have the opportunity to be included for consideration. And we usually award those scholarships right after February 15th. Um, so right after our priority application deadline. And then if you're applying to landscape architecture, there's donor scholarships that are available on a need-based um, review. So as we look at applications, if you've applied to any of those majors, we'll let you know automatically if you've been awarded one of those scholarships. Um, and like Chloe said, once you're in your program, there's departmental merit scholarships that are awarded each year as well. Um, and then our dean's office often has completion grants for students. So if you're working on a project in your senior year and you need some assistance kind of getting to that finish line, we do have those opportunities as well. Um, and we do, if you applied to an outside scholarship from an organization that you're familiar with, if you're awarded that, we're not gonna penalize you for that award either. Um, at UArts, we are all of those things as well. Um, so you're automatically considered for that merit scholarship when you apply, and it will also be listed right there if you are accepted in your acceptance letter. Um, in addition to that, given if you receive your financial aid package, um, through your FAFSA, um, we do allow you also to submit a financial aid appeal. Um, it's kind of letting us know, we understand that the FAFSA, you know, pulls from your taxes and um, it could pull, it pulls from actually two years ago. So some of that information might not be an accurate representation of your current financial situation. Um, so we do allow you to submit a financial aid appeal. And we do have a financial aid counselor that is assigned to you along all four years. Um, so you would have that same financial aid counselor. They'll work with you from the day that you deposit all the way through. Anything, any scholarships that you are award, awarded merit-wise, as long as you stay within good academic standing at UArts, you will keep it with keep it all four years. Um, so it doesn't begin to taper off or anything like that. You will keep it as long as you stay within good academic standing. And then same with outside scholarships, like Lauren and Chloe said, we just stack those on top of things that the scholarships we've already awarded you. Great. Um, we have one other question kind of floating in the Q&A. Um, what if we don't have a portfolio with work um, from throughout the year? Um, so for us, um, we're rolling admissions, which means you can apply and submit your application materials anytime. So there's no rule that you have to, you know, apply and get your portfolio in um, next week. So you, you do have time to kind of start working on those pieces. Um, we're just looking for eight, 12 pieces of your best work in any medium or style. So if you've done work in, you know, your art classes that you're really proud of, you can include those. Or if you're, you know, working on stuff on your own, that's great to include. Um, but you have plenty of time. 
We do have um, our portfolio prep program. It's called Portfolio Bootcamp. There are free workshops that we host. Um, they're going on this month and also in December. So if you need kind of portfolio advice, I would definitely say check those out. Um, but you know, you have plenty of time to start kind of plugging away at those kinds of things. Um, definitely no rush, take your time. Um, the more you kind of put effort into your portfolio, I think it helps your merit scholarship at least for um, more. So that would be my best piece of advice. How about um, you folks? At, at UArts, if, um, you know, if you're still developing your portfolio and working on things, um, just like Chloe said, we are also on rolling admissions. So we don't have a deadline next week or next month. Um, we will continue to accept applications um, all the way through uh, even the summer, but we like our friends to be mindful of May 1st. Um, that being said, if you're like not if your high school maybe doesn't offer as many art classes or you've taken all the art classes that you could um, and you're looking to expand more like I would definitely recommend like community art centers but also at UArts we do have a Saturday school program um, for ninth through 12th graders as well as a summer institute program so if you're looking to you know, branch out and continue to develop your portfolio. The Saturday school sessions are in the fall and there's another uh, session in the spring and they're on Saturdays from 10 a.m. I think till one or two. Um, and again, you could check out different classes and really develop your portfolio. And we actually do portfolio reviews with those students at the conclusion of the sessions. And then same with the Summer Institute. It's kind of like a summer intensive program um, that you can do any summer that you would like, but I recommend it for junior into senior year because um, then you can get a lot of feedback and you can use those things that you worked on over the summer for your portfolio as well. Um, so I hope that that's like kind of helpful, different resources if you feel as though maybe like you've run out of resources through your high school art program, um, et cetera. We are also sort of similar. So um, after February 1st, we continue to accept and review applications as they complete throughout the spring. And um, so you still have time to kind of work on your portfolio. We also have portfolio like pre-college programs. So there's portfolio boot camps. Um, there's a variety, like we do a Philadelphia sketchbook class. Um, so there's different ways you can connect there. The other option that you have with Tyler is that if you know, that Temple and Tyler are where you want to go and you feel like you just need more time on that portfolio piece, you can complete your application for something like university studies, so just a general major. And if you even start your first year in that major, you're just an inter-university transfer. So you would just come to the Tyler admissions office, submit your portfolio when you're ready to, um, and we would work to move you over into Tyler. Um, that said, don't wait too long in that process. Um, you want to do that like in your first semester or the summer during orientation. We work with a lot of students during orientation, um, but we are pretty flexible in getting you to Tyler. We also have non-majors courses for students that just haven't had the opportunity to have a portfolio and they'll start at Temple and University Studies and then your first semester you'll take non-Tyler um, major art courses to work on building your portfolio and at the end of that semester we work with you to make the, the major change. Um, so we're happy to work with you if you just need that extra time as well. Great. Um, I think that was our last question and we're nearly out of time. So thank you so much for joining us today. You asked some really wonderful questions. It was great dialogue. Um, I hope this gave you um, a little taste about some of the art schools in Philadelphia and what we're all about. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot any of us an email afterwards. We'd be happy to um, coordinate with you and answer any follow-up questions. But thank you so much. You were great. Yeah, thanks everyone for coming. I do have one more one more screen to share, just to remind you that we do have other events that you can sign up for through PACAC. Also, when you X out of this today, there will be a quick survey. We please ask that you fill it out. It's only four questions. And then if you would wanna watch the session again, this has been recorded. And I just wanna put my plug in for Philadelphia. I've lived here for almost 10 years and it's a wonderful city to go to college in, especially for the arts. So good luck to all of you and thank you so much for coming today. Bye.